Hey guys, it's Tamara Bennett from Southern Adornments Decor. I feel like I'm going off screen here. Hold on. Every time I think I have my camera set up correct, I end up changing it after I'm actually live, but it's okay. Um, I hope you guys are having a great day. I've got, please set me a reminder, um, Aaliyah, to go and delete my pre-scheduled comment that pops up every time I go live about the Southern Adornments event because it keeps popping up and pinning itself on Facebook and I forget to take it down every time. Um, anyway, this is what we're going to be doing today. It's a cute little welcome truck and you can get this template for free right now if you click the link in the video description. If you're on TikTok, it's over in my uh, profile. It's a free template that you can print out. You can use it at home to trace on your own piece of wood and cut out your own shape. Um, I cut this one using a laser cutting machine and we're going to be painting it today live. It's going to look like this. Super cute. And then something else fun that we've got going on is a giveaway, okay? Um, Aaliyah, can you hand me that white box sitting right there? We've got something very special coming up soon, and I've been kind of teasing it just a little bit, but this is our subscription box, the big box of blanks that we are going to be um, starting to promote June the 1st. So if you want to be the first one on the list to get your big box of blanks, um, go and enter our giveaway because if you're entered for the giveaway, you're going to be entered to win a whole year of big box of blanks free to you. So one winner, one lucky winner will be getting four of these boxes because these are the ones that we're going to be sending out quarterly. So once a quarter, you would get three 18 inch size blanks with video and instructions and, and like a supply list and everything. So it's going to make it super easy for you to like just sit down and paint when you're ready. Hey, Michelle. Hey, Judy. Hi, Jocelyn. Y'all say, say hello when you come in. Tell me where you're watching from. So if you've been um, buying wooden blanks from us for a while now, this is going to make it super awesome for you because when you've got time to sit down and paint, you'll have a project ready to sit down and paint. So uh, Lisa says, where do we enter? There's a link up above. It's called the Big Box of Blanks Giveaway. And so we're going to start selling these June the 1st. If you want to get on the list, go enter the giveaway. And if you sign up on the first day, there's going to be an extra little bonus something we're going to put in the box, and we'll announce that later. Um, Angela, you can register up above. Just click the link that says giveaway. Hey, Kim. Hi, Robin. But anyway, like I said, each box um, will have three blanks in it. So because we're doing this quarterly, the three blanks will be for, uh, let's see, the first box will ship out by July the 1st, and it will have a, a blank for July, August, and September in it. And then in uh, the fall, we'll do our fourth quarter box, which will have a blank for October, November, and December. And so if you subscribe, you'll get one new blank every single, or for every month of the year, but you'll get them quarterly. The reason we're doing them quarterly is because that's going to save you a lot of money on shipping. If you have all, th all three sent in one box versus sending out three boxes, one each month, it's going to change the pricing a whole lot. It's going to make it way more affordable for you guys. All right, so go get on the link, the giveaway for this. I'll announce that again later um, and answer questions about it later if you guys have more questions. Hi, Susie. Hi, Amy. Hello, Yuna. But today we're going to be painting this cute little welcome truck. And like I said, this is also a freebie that you can go and download in the video description. It's a free welcome truck template, so go grab it. Um, hey Jenny, thank you for sharing the love. I appreciate that. Okay, let's pick out a color of turquoise for this truck or turquoise, turquoise is ish, turquoise ish. That's really hard to say. Blue. Um, let's see. My picture is a little more blue than the original example is, but I think I'm going to use this Laguna color and then I might do a little bit of shading or something with this mermaid tail. So Laguna and mermaid tail. By the way, if you want the um, color list for this project, and you're not on our text list, just text the word LIST to the phone number that's up above, and that will um, give, we'll send out the PDF of this project so that you've got the supply list and a link back to this video. Um, and if you're watching on TikTok, the entire recording of this video will be on YouTube later today. Where is the giveaway box? Uh, Lynn, it's called the Big Box of Blanks Giveaway. If you tap on the video here, the link is up above. Okay, we're going to use the Laguna color as sort of our background. And then, like I said, I'm going to use just a teeny bit of this mermaid tail to do some shading. So I'm just going to put both of those in the same egg carton, kind of side by side here, so that I can get a little bit of each one at the same time. We're also going to wet our brush. And I'm using a flat tip brush. <coughs> Sarah's watching from Alabama. 
Hey guys, I'm in Kentucky. For those of you who are wondering, I love this color. So pretty. This is going to be a fun little truck that you could leave up on your door any time of year. So for, it's really good for those like in between holidays when, you know, it's not really, you're not really sure what to put up. This would be a good one to kind of just put on your door when it's not like a set holiday or something just to celebrate and welcome people to your house. And of course, you could paint this little truck any color you like. If your door is turquoise, I would not recommend painting your truck turquoise. Probably paint it maybe like a, a red or something else that would kind of complement your door. And if you're not sure, sure what color would look good on your door, maybe take a couple of bottles of paint with you and go stand in front of your door and hold the bottles up next to the door and figure out which one kind of sh shows up the best in front of your door. If, the bot if you have a hard time telling by looking at the bottles, you could paint like a little scrap, like make your own little paint swatch, like on a piece of cardboard and take it out there and hold it up against your door to figure out what color would be best. Or those uh, tongue depressor paints. Yes, or like a, a paint stick, like or a popsicle stick, tongue depressor. <laughs> you wish you were painting, Tammy. Hi, Patty. What kind of wood do you use? This is a uh, quarter inch revolution plywood. I buy it at Lowe's. And my husband cuts it down for me so that I can fit it inside my laser machine. And I cut this one out yesterday on my thunder laser. I like the, the laser etched blanks because the design is already carved in them. It makes it really easy to just sit down and paint. I don't have to draw anything. I can just kind of paint inside the lines and or on top of the lines. You can also paint on top of the lines and still be able to see everything. So that's kind of handy. Okay, so that was the first coat. Let me go ahead and dry this real quick. If you want the wooden blank to this design, we do have that in the shop as well. So if you're not um, handy at cutting out your own blanks, um, you could go grab the wooden blank to this. If you want to go ahead, if you're not handy at cutting, but you still want to get the free template, you could trace the template on a wooden round or, or on a canvas or something like that. The shop is done, Terry. We have moved into it. We've, uh, we're have we getting the laser machines hooked up this week. Whitney says, I got a thunder laser because of you. Do you share your settings for cutting and etching? Uh, yes, I can. It depends on the thunder laser that you got, Whitney, because every layer, the lasers have different size um, watt laser bulbs. Is that the right words? Different wattage. Different wattage. And so if you've got a bigger laser than mine, your settings would be different from mine. But if you're using the Nova 24 and or, or if you're using a laser that has a similar wattage to mine, then you could use the same settings, I would think. Cindy says, I love the trucks. I decorate with them. How do we enter to win again? There's a link up in the video description. Oh, see, Whitney's is 130 watt. Your settings would be different than mine then. I would recommend just doing a small test cut, like do something that's real small and just kind of play with your settings a little bit. And, you know, the more you play with them, the more you'll figure out, okay, I need to make that darker. So I need to increase the, the power or something like that. Can Thunder Support help there with that? Yeah, Thunder Support can probably help you with that too. They're, they're pretty, pretty helpful. Okay, now I'm taking a little bit of that mermaid tail on the edge of my brush and I'm kind of just going around the outer perimeter of the truck to kind of give it a little bit of depth. And I might do a little bit dark right here under the window too. Laying down that lighter color first, the Laguna. Then dip just the corner of my brush in the mermaid tail and kind of trail that underneath the window for a darker shade. Do the same thing on this window over here. Um, but to enter the, the big box of blanks giveaway, you just go up to the top and click on big box of blanks giveaway link. It'll take you over there and it'll walk you through how to do it. It's fairly simple. I love these two colors together. And then I'm doing a little bit of shading around the edge of the truck right up here. Okay. 
Okay, let me kind of show you. Can you see that shading? Whoop, I did not get that blended well. Hold up. If you have that problem, get just a little damp paintbrush. Soften it up a little bit. It looks worse on camera than it does in person. To me, it looks more blended in person. Good morning, Kathy. You're welcome, Jennifer. I'm glad you liked the template. Um, you're looking for where to enter. It's not showing up on your iPhone. We may have to drop the, the link for it in the, okay. in the comments. Give me a second. Okay. Um, but it should be up in the video description. I don't know why. Kathy says she can't get the free template to work. If you're on a phone, what I will say is when you click to download it, you may have to open it in a browser or save it to your files first. Um, and sometimes on an iPhone or something, that can be a little tricky. You found, you're coming to Dallas in July. Yay, I'm so excited. I'm going to get to meet you. If you haven't bought your ticket to the show, a live Southern Adornments Live in Dallas, it's happening July 15th and 16th. You can get that at southernadornmentslive.com. Uh, so, Tiffany, on TikTok, just go to my link in bio. Oh, hang on. Hold up. Um, hold on, please. Hold on. For some reason, TikTok, it's not letting me go in and edit it right now. So, I may have to do that as soon as the live is over. <clears throat> I thought I put it in there, but I must not have hit the publish button, and it's not giving me a publish button. Where do we find the free template? It's not showing up on PC either. What in the world? Do I need to get my laptop out and find find the links for everybody? All right, we're needing the free truck template. Hold on, we're gonna get the laptop out and get this all. Cause I've got all the links saved right down here. I'll just drop them in a comment. It's copying and pasting the Facebook account in there. Apparently so. There we go. And then let me pin this so everybody can find it. Oh, not that. What in the world? <laughs> oh, I feel like we're struggling today. We're on the struggle bus. Okay, there's my comment. I commented it and then it quickly like disappeared on me. Okay, it's not letting me. Here we go. I gotta pin it up here. All right, the links you put in work. So. <laughs> okay, there we go. I'm sorry, TikTok. If you want to, if TikTok, if you want to come over to Facebook, I have pinned it in the comments underneath my Facebook Live. Come to Facebook and click on. Uh, go to Southern Adornments Decor, and you can grab the free uh, template and and get in the giveaway. Otherwise, um, I'll put it all in my link in bio later. But we gotta finish painting. Okay, we're gonna use, let's see. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to paint the, I don't know why I didn't paint this, but we've also got to paint the middle part of the truck here. So we're gonna take our Laguna and do this, and then we're gonna do polka dots on our truck. So this is the free truck template that we're talking about that you can get. Again, if you're watching on TikTok, go grab the link and on Facebook. It's probably the easiest way. Otherwise, this entire video will be uploaded to YouTube later today with the links to everything, too. I put the links in the TikTok. I don't know if you can click a link on TikTok, though. Can you in a comment? Probably not, but they can at least see it. Got a lot of people watching live on TikTok. I don't usually have this many people live on TikTok. <laughs> Hello and welcome. Hit the follow button for more. <laughs> My daughter, Charlie, she watches a lot of YouTube. And sometimes she'll pretend to make her own YouTube videos. And I'll hear her in there. She'll go, click the button to, to follow my channel or subscribe to my channel. And I'm like, how do you even know what that means? Kids pick up things so quickly. Hi, Brenda. Okay, good. Thank you, Jeannie. Okay, we got one coat down on the, the tailgate of our truck, and it's going to need a second coat before we can start doing our polka dots. Okay, I'm 
Oh, they're thrilled about summer break. Me, on the other hand, I love my children, but it's so hard to run a business from home with kids. <laughs> so, I don't know how much I'm looking forward to it. I'll probably enjoy it a little bit, but then the rest of the time I'll be like, how many more days till school starts back? What size are you painting? This one I cut out at 18 inches. There's an elderly couple at church who every time I say anything about, you know, being like tired as a parent, you know, and my kids driving me crazy, they remind me, you know, they're like, well, um, this is the best time of your life. Whether you know it or not, this is the best, the best days of your life. And so I try to remember that on the days when I feel stressed and overwhelmed and in the thick of all of it, try to remember these are the, these are the days that I will miss someday. Okay, I'm taking this darker color, the mermaid tail, and I'm just kind of shading the edges of the truck tailgate. Brenda has been happy mail, and she's thanking you. Oh, you're welcome, Brenda. Okay, while that's drying, let's go ahead and paint. Well, actually, no. Let's. I was going to jump to painting the window, but then I remembered if I'm doing the polka dots, it'll be easier if I'm able to be a little messy with the polka dots and not worry about getting it on the window. So we'll do this first. Now the polka dots we're going to do in a slightly lighter shade of turquoise. So I may actually in a separate egg carton here, put just a little bit of the Laguna and then maybe add just a little bit of Bahama blue. If you don't have Bahama blue, just add a little white to it something that'll make a lighter shade. You can also do darker polka dots if you prefer. I'm mixing my, my colors together here a little bit. I want it to be just a little lighter than the Laguna, but not too light. I feel like the Bahama Blue was going to be a little too intense. So Courtney, let me do a little test spot. Courtney on TikTok loves that your glasses match your shirt and your shirt matches your pants. <laughs> well, that's because I'm wearing pair eyewear. So pair eyewear has these cute little toppers you can pop on and off. Um, and so when I go live, I like to coordinate my glasses with my shirt and, um, so it's turquoise today, turquoise sparkle. Okay, we're gonna use one of these little sponge pouncers. We have these in our shop. If you don't have any, they're awesome. They come in a variety of different sizes and they make it so easy to paint polka dots. So dip your daughter in your paint and then scrape as much off as you can so that it looks like this. And then you're gonna just push down, do a gentle little kind of half turn. By doing the little twist, it kind of makes the, um, the polka dot more round. Now, right after I did that polka dot, I realized I made that way brighter than I want it to be. I don't want it to be that bright. Mm. It's very bold. Mm. <laughs> Leah's like, yes, ma'am, it's very bold. So I'm adding more of the Laguna back in to kind of soften it up. I don't want bold, I don't want it to be that bold because then it's gonna be super busy and you won't be able to like notice the other details in the truck because all you'll see is a bunch of polka dots. <laughs> you did print the template, yay, Roxy. Can't wait to see how you paint yours. Okay, let's do another one. Hold on, I feel like I need to dry this dot or test it in another spot. Hold up. Let's try one over here. It's still kind of bold, isn't it? Maybe because I used that mermaid tail color. I brightened it up too much. It's always tricky when you're mixing paint because you can so easily get too much of one color. And I think the Bahama Blue kind of overpowered everything and lightened it up too much. So now I'm adding back in some of the darker turquoise. It's all right. If I didn't make mistakes, how would you guys, y'all wouldn't learn half as much from me probably. <laughs> Thank you, Courtney.
Okay, let's do a happy mail while y'all are waiting on me to get these polka dots ready. Comment and tell me, um, let me think. When do your kids get out of school? Mine get out this Friday, May the 20th. And we'll pick somebody at random to win some happy mail. All right, I think this color is going to work much better. <clears throat> now I'm just going around making some polka dots. Look how many polka dots you can make with just one dip in the paint. So it's like you don't even need that much paint to make your dots. Those ladies aren't out till June 3rd. Oh my, that's late. They must start late too. Our kids go back to school on like August the 5th or 6th usually. So they get out pretty early. Okay, we've got our polka dots. I need to fix a couple of spots because like I want the polka dots on the tailgate to not blend in. Like, so this one right here, see, I don't want it half on the tailgate and half off the tailgate. So what I'm gonna do is dry it and then I'm just gonna paint over that little area with, a, with the darker turquoise so that it looks like it's behind the tailgate. It's just a like a picky thing. I just like it that way. I'm looking forward to meeting you in Dallas too. It's gonna be fun. Um, our happy mail winner is Kimberly Coompson. I hope I said your name right, Kimberly. Um, did you see my question about the sponge? I did not. Somebody on TikTok asked a question about a sponge. Did you see it, Aaliyah? No. I didn't either. Don't see the question about the sponges. I am blending out to cover up this polka dot with the mermaid tail color. It's kind of tricky, <laughs> but I got it. I think. Tracy wants to know how you order this to paint. So if you want to paint this, um, this blank that I'm painting right now, the little truck with the welcome, Go to shopdoorhangers.com. There's, um, just type in welcome. If you're watching on TikTok, you'll have to just use the search bar and type in welcome truck. If you're watching on Facebook, there is a direct link up in the video description. All right, Tiffany on TikTok wants to know about the sponge pouncers. Do you wash them and reuse them? Yes, if so I can. So how do you wash it? So right now I'm just gonna drop it in my water cup and just let it sit there so that it doesn't dry out because you don't want the paint to dry on the sponge. So if it takes you a long time to paint, just let it sit in water or go wash it out immediately. When my live's over, I'll take that cup in there. I'll rinse all of them out with just warm water. Just keep squeezing the end of the little sponge until all of the paint comes out. And then if you're still not sure, dab it on the paper towel. If you still keep seeing color on the paper towel, then you need to rinse it again. But yes, they are reusable. I've been using the same ones for years. They're great to have for paint parties, too, if you teach paint parties. All right, let's switch to another color. Let's use um, a light gray, and we're going to paint our window. I'm also going to put in a little bit of white with that, too, because I want the window to kind of look like it's got a shine to it. So I actually put both colors in the same little hole. Tiffany says she's thrown so many away, so thank you. Oh, yeah, you're welcome. Don't throw them away. I'm too frugal for that. I like to reuse. Okay, this color is called gray sky. And then I'm also kind of dipping my brush in some white at the same time as I'm painting this to kind of give it a two-tone effect. And I'm using a big flat tip brush and we're just gonna go around the edge of the truck window. Tiffany says she didn't know they could be reused. Yeah. I don't like the um, the sponge brushes that are like the flat, you know, like they look like a paintbrush. I don't like those kind of sponge brushes. Those I do throw away when I'm done with them. Because have you noticed like when you're painting with those, the sponge starts to split and break and then the little thing that's inside there starts to poke out and 
yeah, I don't reuse those. I, and I hardly ever use those. I think the only time I use those is when I'm like staining something because I, you know, with stain, you have to clean with like mineral spirits. So I do throw those away when I'm done with them, but not these little polka dot sponges. Well, this wood is just soaking that paint up. I really have to get plenty of it on there. And I am painting over the word welcome. It's totally okay um, because we are going to be able to see that through the paint and we'll be able to go back and paint that on later. I must have had some wet turquoise paint up here in the corner because it kind of streaked. You love the truck templates? They're so fun. To me, trucks are so fun to paint. <laughs> if you've never painted a wooden door hanger before um, and you're watching on TikTok, go grab my um, free ebook in my link in bio that'll help you get started in figuring out like what kind of paints to use what kind of wood to use if you're cutting your own out and stuff like that um but go grab this little truck template the truck template's completely free i do have it linked here on facebook as well this is what it's going to look like i just printed this kind of as a reference for me to look at because i do draw these out in advance like on my procreate app and then when i sit down to paint them i'm usually like what what did i draw i don't even remember so it's nice to have the photo for reference. Okay. I was trying to decide if this needed another coat. I think we can kind of get by without a second coat. And I kind of like how streaky it looks on purpose because, you know, windows aren't supposed to be perfectly one solid color. We also need our little side mirrors to be gray. And then our, um, this paint's running out. And then our little bumper to be gray down here. So I'm gonna switch to a smaller brush though. Bunny's just now popped on and wants to know what blank in a box is. <laughs> so if you wanna know what the blanks in the box are, we've got the big box of blanks. This is our subscription box. We're really, we're coming out, what, what do you say? We're coming out with it, we're releasing it, we're- We're, we're opening it for- Opening it. Subscription for people's- <laughs> I need to get my words right. <laughs> it's available. It will <laughs> we'll be, be available. available starting June the 1st. So it's something completely new we're doing. We've never done this before. Those of you who have been ordering our wooden blanks faithfully for years have been saying, I cannot wait until you start a subscription box where we can get blanks sent to us every month. Well, instead of sending them out every month, we're sending them out quarterly because it's way more affordable that way. Limited number. There's a limited number available. Um, we will probably only start out with roughly 200 or so and then I feel like I can't fit myself and this box. It's so big, the big box of blanks. I can't fit me and myself all here on the camera at the same time. But anyways, we're doing a giveaway for this. So if you want to win a one year subscription to the big box of blanks, go enter the giveaway right now. It's linked in my TikTok bio and it's also pinned right here in the comments on Facebook. This video will be available on YouTube later if you um, want to catch the whole thing. But anyways, it's going to have three blanks in it each quarter, one for each month. So the first box will be shipped out by July the 1st. It'll have a blank for July, August, and September in it. It'll also have three instructional sheets that will have a picture kind of like this so you'll know what it's supposed to look like. It'll have the color list and all of that. Um, and it'll also have a link to go watch the video for how to paint the blanks. So you're not going to have to figure out how to paint it on your own. You'll be able to get at, get it out and you'll be able to just watch the video and paint right along with me. Now you could do this a couple of different ways. You could sit down and paint all three in one day or you could space it out and do one each month or whatever you have time for. Because I know like if you're a busy mom or a, a nurse or a teacher or whatever and you enjoy painting stuff like this but you're just like I can imagine that like when you get in the mood to paint and then you're like ah I don't have any blanks. 
then you have to go searching for what project you're going to paint, right? And sometimes we go to Pinterest or we you go to my store and you're like, oh, there's so many to choose from. I don't know which one's going to be a good one. Well, guess what? These are like Tamara's greatest hits. We pulled some of the ones that were the most popular, the best ones, and we put them in these boxes and we're sending them out to you each quarter so you can just sit down and paint with me. It's going to be the best thing ever. So go get your name on the list for the giveaway. Um, we'll be drawing a winner. What day is it? The end of the month? 30th. The 30th of May, we'll draw a winner, and we will send out an email and announce who the winner is. And um, that winner will get one full year of the free bo the Big Box of Blanks subscription. Now, if you don't win, of course, right then, after you get that email and find out whether you're the winner or not, you can go and sign up, like starting, I think, the very next day, we'll start sign-ups. And like I said, there will be a limited number because um, we do have to cut it off at some point so that we can keep up with the demand of orders. So the first 200 to sign up will get their box. It's exciting. Kathy says that's her birthday. Well, yay. Okay, we're taking this little gray sky color and we're just painting on the bumper. And I have switched to a smaller flat tip brush. Everybody's saying it's so exciting. Yeah, I'm pumped about it. I can't wait. Now, when you go over to the giveaway page, there'll be a picture that'll kind of give you an idea of what's gonna be, um, of what the like box would include. But disclaimer, the, the blanks in the picture are not the actual blanks that are going to be in the first box. So it's going to be a mystery each quarter as to what's in them. So if you like, you know, kind of getting a surprise, it's like Christmas, you know, you get, you get to open it up and see what you're going to be painting and you don't have to figure it out or pick or try to decide what's going to be a good one to paint. We'll figure that out for you. How much will the box of blanks be? Am I allowed to say that? Like you, you're the boss. <laughs> I have to ask sometimes because I'm like, do we have ever, all nope. the details nailed down? If you're the boss, you're good. <laughs> there you go. I'm not, she's the keeper of the details. I'm the big <laughs> ideas person. I throw ideas at her and I'm like, what do you think about this? And she, and she writes it down. That way I don't forget it. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> so if you decide to sign up for the big box of blank subscription, it's $65 a quarter. And then it's two fifty five dollars um, if you sign up. Is that yearly? Two fifty five yearly? No, no? two fifty five value. It's oh, a it's a two hundred fifty dollar box. Okay, I think it is like two sixty annually though. If you sign up for the annual subscription, whatever sixty five times four is. So yeah, it's a two hundred and fifty five dollar value in each box, and yes. we are figuring that up based on if we were to sell these blanks individually and sell the video tutorial for them individually to you, it would be a two hundred fifty five dollar value. And you get it for 65 bucks. Um, how much would you say you spend approximately in overhead for signs a month? I'm not sure I understand the question. And shipping on the box is? Included. Free. I was like, is it free? Well, technically it's included. <laughs> so for $65, that includes your shipping. <laughs> Um, do you understand Michelle's question over on TikTok? She said, how much would you say you spend an overhead for signs a month? Mm -hmm. Well, see, I design my own signs and I cut my own signs on my laser. So I'm not buying wooden blanks. So I can't really answer that question. I don't know. Um, do you sell that shirt design you're wearing? No, this one is in the framed t-shirt club of the month. So if you go to framedbysarah.com, um, you can sign up for it. I think you can still even get this shirt. Framed by Sarah. <laughs> Julie says, sign me up. Okay, let's paint this little um, license plate white. And then we've got some fun little details to add to this truck. Samantha wants to know where you get your boxes. They're pizza boxes. <laughs> They're pizza boxes. I got them on Amazon. And they're perfect for an 18 inch size blank. So all the blanks that we send out in those in the big box of blanks will be 18 inch. 
Do you teach how to tape your iPad drawing to get it to work on the laser? Um, I don't know if we teach that particular part of it. We have a, a Procreate course called Pro, Procreate for Makers that you can take that teaches you how to use your Procreate to like design door hangers. But I don't know if there's any videos that show taking it from there and plugging it into your laser. You essentially have to convert it to an SVG file or a vector format, which you can do that in Canva, I believe, nowadays. Um, so you could open up the design that you create and procreate in Canva and then save it as an SVG. And then you can just open it on your laser and cut it out. Someone asked earlier if you do procreate too. Procreate course number two? Yes. I've been thinking about it. I don't know if I'm going to do a second course or if I'm just going to beef up the first course. Meaning go back in and add additional trainings to make the first course even better. I haven't decided yet. But I've been, I, it, I have not forgotten. It is on my mind. I've just got too many other things going. <laughs> Between the <laughs> Dallas event, the big box of blanks, and all the things, I just haven't had room in my brain to think about one more thing right now. Brittany is in Hawaii, and she's putting a reminder in her phone so she can get in on the box. Okay, now Bunny... Since you're in Hawaii, I'm going to warn you because this has happened to me before. When you set a reminder on your phone and you're outside of your hometown, state, whatever, it's going to set the reminder for the time zone in which you are in. So when you go back home, the reminder may show up at the wrong time or the wrong day, depending on, it'll, it'll still be set to the Hawaii time. Just a, just a heads up, because that's happened to me before. I put something in my, my calendar one time while I was out of town and then when I got home, I noticed all the times were incorrect. And then I realized, oh, I was in the Eastern time zone when I set that. Now I'm in the Central time zone. So it does matter. If they're on the wait list and yep. you the giveaway, we will remind them. Yes, but if you did enter the giveaway, you'll be on the wait list and we will send you out an email and remind you. <laughs> Enjoy Hawaii, though. That sounds amazing. I've never been to Hawaii. Sounds wonderful. <clears throat> okay, let's get a red, and we're going to paint these little tail lights. This is primary red. I probably should have put down a primer coat first because that red's not covering well. So if you don't know this, red does not cover very well, and it's advisable that you use a gray as a primer <coughs> before you paint red. So I'm going to use this little gray sky to primer this spot before I paint it red. I may go back and primer this one too. I just gotta dry it first. So that kind of like eliminates the, um, the wood grain in the background or any other paint that you might've gotten on that spot and it'll make your red cover a lot better. Jessica, the, li the link is right here. See the pinned link? Click that. You see the one that says free truck template? If you tap on that comment, it'll expand and you'll see the link for the giveaway underneath it. All right, what kind of laser do you have? Would you recommend it for a beginner? Yes, I have a Thunder Laser Nova 24. And yes, I would recommend it for a beginner. It, it was very easy to learn how to use. Cynthia's confused if she needs to sign up for the giveaway or do you do it June 1st? You do it now. Sign up for the giveaway right now because we're having the drawing for that on May 30th. And then you'll find out whether you win or not. If you don't win, then you can sign up for the subscription on June the 1st. Or if you're on the wait list, I think you can actually sign up a day early. <laughs> okay, notice how much better that red covered. I don't know if y'all can tell or not, but man. Cindy, you love the design behind me. We painted that one in, the, in our Painters Clubhouse membership this month. So if you're not a Painters Clubhouse member, we opened that group back up in August, at the end of August, I think. And you should be able to sign up then and you'll have access to that design. But it is an exclusive design for right now. Okay. Got that done. I want to go ahead and paint a cute little heart on our bumper. 
Let's use this one. This is called Carousel Pink. I wanted a nice, bright, happy pink. <clears throat> Actually, this one's a little harsh. Let's do this one. It's called Cactus Flower. And then I'm going to get a round tip brush because I'm just going to kind of draw this on. This is not laser etched on, so I'm just drawing on a little heart. Kind of draw it with the round tip brush first and then just fill in the middles. I love this color. It's a very soft pink. Y'all want to do some more Happy Mail? Mm. Drop a comment and tell me what is your favorite paint color? What's your favorite paint color? And we'll pick a Happy Mail winner. And while you're doing that, I'm going to, with a pencil or something, draw um, a little banner on here because our design has this cute little swag banner hanging. So to do this, I'm going to kind of Let's see, it goes on the tailgate, which starts right here. So kind of draw a line to the middle. And I, by the way, this is a really cool pencil. It's called a General's Charcoal White Pencil. So it's kind of like a white colored pencil. And um, it's great for kind of sketching out stuff on a, a door hanger, as opposed to using like a pencil, like a regular pencil. Because sometimes you can't see that as well. And now I'm just drawing little triangles hanging down for like little a banner. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, we're good. Let me show you what I got. Whoops. So we've got it drawn on there. Notice I did it hanging from the tailgate, not from that. It's on the tailgate. You like Bahama Blue? I love that one too. Teal, teal. I love teal mint. Desert turquoise is good too. So the name of the pencil. Uh, Barb Bobbin Meyer is our Happy Mail winner. Congratulations, Barb. Uh, the pencil I was using is the General's Charcoal White Pencil. I believe I have these linked in my Amazon favorites. Do you still already paint it? Uh, not at this time. She said, I'm not creative enough to do it myself. I guarantee you, you could if you wanted to, Brianna, because I teach this. Anybody can learn to paint. Bob Ross is quoted as saying, and I'm going to butcher this quote, but something about how any kind of talent is an acquired skill that is learned through practice, in other words. So if you want to learn how to do it, I can totally help you with that. Sunkissed peach. Ooh, that sounds like a pretty color. Dragon fruit. I love that one too. I don't have midnight blue, Pat. That sounds lovely. Okay, let's go ahead, take our round tip brush, and we're gonna start painting in the cute little bunting here. We're gonna start with, what colors did I have? I have like a hot pink. This, this design's gonna have a lot of colors. There's the dragon fruit she was talking about. We're gonna do that one. Let's choose a bright green. Irish moss. And then we need like a corally orange. For the orange color. Let's see. And then purple. Mm -hmm. A bright purple. Okay. I kind of like these colors together. This isn't really a corally orange, but I think it works with the other three. So that's what we're going to use. And we're going to do them in that order. Does that pencil erase? Um, I don't think so. I don't think the pencil erases. Okay, since I don't need very much of each paint color, instead of putting it in my egg carton, I'm just dipping it out of the lid because there's just a tiny bit in the lid. And I'm taking my little round tip brush. Oh, I just realized I kind of, y'all can't see that. Taking my little round tip brush and I'm tracing right on top of the white pencil marks. If you don't have pencil, you could also use chalk. Chalk works well. Um, it just might not be as like clean as this. It will be like, a wider stroke. Okay, and then this one's pink. The only thing I don't like about using these little round tip brushes is it's hard to get your brush strokes smoothed out. So I may switch to another brush after I get this initial coat down to do the second coat. Your problem is eyes and dots on the eyes. 
Have you tried using the bottom of your paintbrush to do a polka dot? Okay, this is the Irish Moss. I love this color. Green is a color that just makes me so happy. Love, ooh, look how bright that is on this turquoise. I love it. <clears throat> and these will probably take two coats anyways, so. I'll just do the second coat with a little flat tip brush to kind of smooth out those brush strokes better. Now for the orange. <laughs> Rachel said, you seriously made my whole month. Oh, Rachel's gonna be one of our guest artists coming up in the Painters Clubhouse. I'm so excited that you're gonna be doing that. Everybody's gonna love you. She's so talented. Now this is, this, what was this color? This was called Canyon Orange. This paint, for some reason, has gotten a little on the thick side, but it's okay. I can dip my brush in a little bit of water, and that kind of helps it smooth out a little better. This is like the party truck. <laughs> they got a party banner hanging from the back. If you're just now tuning in, you can get this truck template for free if you go to the link that's pinned in the comments. And you can also enter our giveaway for the big box of blanks subscription. You get a whole year of, um, of boxes if you're the winner. If you're not, you'll get on the, whoop, there went that paintbrush. <laughs> <laughs> you'll get, yeah, if you're not, you'll get uh, a link to go sign up when we open it up on June the 1st. This color, I forgot to tell you the name, it's called Brilliant Purple. It's really nice, like bright purple. People are just printing that template out right away. Awesome. By the way, if you paint this little truck, I would love to see a picture of it. Could you please text it to me? I put my text link up in the video description. Text me a picture of it once you get it painted. I love seeing your photos. If you're a member of our Painters Clubhouse, of course, post it in the Painters Clubhouse. If you're in our free group, the Door Hanger Painting Tips group, go post it in there. Let everybody see your cute creation. <coughs> And then, of course, they'll ask, where did you get that template? You can say, it was a free one. Go grab it here. <laughs> um, warm sunset's a good color, too. I have that, but it's not in my stash over here. I, I think it's in the cabinet somewhere. Melissa, just click this pinned comment right here. If you tap on it, it'll expand, and there's a link for the giveaway there. Okay, we got that dry. Like I said, I'm going to switch to a smaller flat tip brush to do the second coat on these little pendants because the first one was kind of lumpy or bumpy looking because of the round tip brush. And it still needed a second coat anyway. Okay, that's the dragon fruit color. And let's this. Actually, let me try this little angle brush. Sometimes angle brushes do better on stuff like this. Let's see, green's next. <laughs> yes, I like the angle tip brush for this. That green covered pretty good the first time. I don't know that I even really needed a second coat that much. What color are you going to paint your truck? Let's do one more happy mail. I know it's a little early for it, but we'll go ahead and do it. What color are you going to paint your truck? Comment and tell me. 
what color you're going to use for the for the color of your truck if you paint one. Even if you're not going to paint one, what color would you paint your truck? What was the color of paint you were using? Uh, it's called dragon fruit. Unless you're talking about the little heart on the license plate, that was cactus flower. Is this template in Painter's Clayback? No, this is a free one. You can go and download right now. I've got it linked right there in the comments. It's not a Painter's Clubhouse design. Ooh, red would be cute. You would probably want to change up the colors of your bunting or your pendant, whatever you call this little thing. But yeah, red would be real cute. Okay, we've got our little flag done. Now, I think we just need to paint in our word, welcome, and then we need to um, do our, our finishing touches. I'm trying to decide on a brush to use here. Blues and pinks, purple, mint. Mm. Mint would be pretty. Red, rusted blue, tan was the black fenders. So you could use a paint pen to paint this lettering in, or you can use a paintbrush like what I'm doing. I kind of sometimes just prefer to use a paintbrush because I feel like it's faster, but I think that's just because for years that's what I did at paint parties. I painted lettering with a paintbrush. What color should the truck be if you want to do red, white, and blue flags? Ooh, um, I would almost do like a a gray truck or a, like if you're doing red white and blue then maybe you could do a light blue truck and then still use blue you know on it that's a darker blue for the patriotic parts if you're wanting a patriotic truck though we do have a um, patriotic truck in our shop and it's got actual like USA along along the bumper All right, our Happy Mail winner is Pat Bubak, Bubak, Bubak Johnson. <laughs> we'll just say Pat Johnson. Pat Johnson, you're the winner of our Happy Mail. I'm what, terrible at pronouncing people's names sometimes. What about the string holding the flags? Um, what about it? Oh, I'm going to paint it probably with a white paint pen when everything's done. If y'all think I'm bad at pronouncing people's names, you should see me in Bible class when I have to read something from Chronicles or something <laughs> where it's got everybody's, everybody's biblical names and I'm like, I don't know how to say this. By the way, I did add a little bit of black to, I mean, I'm not, not black, a little bit of water to my black paint before I started doing this. It helps it flow a little bit if you're painting with a paintbrush and doing lettering. You just kind of have to be careful when you're dipping in your paint and then going back to your project. You don't want it to like splatter or drip. So just make sure you take care when you're doing that. And I'm just using a little round tip brush. It makes it nice because if I apply a very little bit of pressure, I can get a nice thin stroke. And then if I kind of smash it down nice and flat, I can get a real wide stroke like that right there. Yes, I added a little, just a splash of water to it. Just a little. By the way, I'm not free handing this lettering if you're just now tuning in. This lettering was laser etched on the door hanger before I painted it. And we painted over it with gray and I can still see the letters. So I'm just painting inside the lines right now. So if lettering has always been a struggle for you, just know that you can grab up a paint pen and literally just color inside the lines with paint pen on this to do the lettering. Can we access truck bundles in PC? No. No, you would need to go download. You would need to go download the free one first. <clears throat> okay, let's dry this and then we're gonna do our finishing touches with our paint pens. Let me show you what it looks like so far cute, right? 
you wish you were good at painting. You can be. Just pick up a brush and follow right along. The more you do it, the better you'll get. I've been doing this for seven years, and I get better and better the longer I do this. I swear, I'm just now getting decent at doing shading. <laughs> and I feel like I still continue to learn stuff the longer I paint, so you will get better. I should sometimes just pull up old pictures of some of my very first projects to show you guys because they were they were pretty basic. I'm not going to like knock my own art and say they were terrible because I wouldn't say they were terrible, but they definitely weren't what they are today. They didn't have nearly as much detail. You could tell that my hand was not real confident, things like that. Tina says, I want to learn. Well, Tina, all you got to do is follow along with a video. The big box of blanks would be the perfect chance for you to kind of dip your toe in this. Look at me trying to peep above the box here. Um, but this is the giveaway we're doing. You can win a whole entire year subscription to the big box of blanks. This is a subscription that starts on June the 1st. We're going to start signups for it. The first box will go out July the 1st. You'll get three blanks in each quarter, each box subscription. And so if you're wanting to learn, that's the perfect time for you to kind of like follow along and just paint one each month or just sit down and just work on a few projects at a time. And um, you'll slowly become more and more confident. Guys, shake it till you hear that clickety clackety noise. Okay, this is the white Posca pen. Make sure it's not dripping or anything. I'm going to use this to kind of do the little line holding our banner up. See that? Rotate the door hanger. Anytime you're trying to do a smooth line, if you will pull the pen or the brush towards your body, you'll have a lot more control. Okay, now I'm gonna switch to black. And this is the 5M side. Actually, that one feels like it's about empty. Let me switch to one of these. Nope. These are similar to the Posca ones, but they are Artistro acrylic markers. I've got these, I think, in my Amazon favorites, too. How much is the big box of blanks? $65 a quarter. Kathy says, I'm 61. Is it too late for me to learn? Absolutely not, Kathy. My great-grandmother was a school teacher for years, and she did not start learning to paint until she retired um, and so there are several ladies in our painters clubhouse group who are much older than you who are learning and they've even started selling their designs and like setting up at craft booths and stuff. So it's definitely something that anybody can do regardless of your age. Okay, now we're just tracing the, uh, the window and stuff like that to add more detail. So if you're a messy painter and you tend to, whoops, see, turn it so that you can pull it toward your body. Becky says she's 66 and she started two years ago and she loves it. Yay! Thank you for sharing that with us. Tiffany on TikTok wants to know how many blanks are in it. There will be three blanks in each box. So since it's sent out quarterly, that would be one for each month. So the first box goes out July 1st. It'll have a blank for July, August, and September in it. Chrissy started at 68, 70 now, and still going strong. Yay. I love hearing these su success stories. Awesome. Okay, now we're just kind of adding some little details to the bottom of the truck here, outlining some things. I just think it makes everything sort of pop a little bit more. Those lines don't have to be perfectly on the laser etched lines either. Just kind of, you know, somewhere in the vicinity. <laughs> okay, going back to the white pen. Now I'm just going to add some little white details. Add some tread to the tires. Add just a little bit around the edge there. Add a little bit to our bumper. Oh, what size will the blanks be? Will they be six inches or what? Oh, the blanks will be um, Eight. 18 inches. <coughs> Forgot to outline my little tail lights here with the black. 
Are the blanks are the blanks etched? Yes, the blanks will be etched. I think I'm gonna switch to my skinnier white pen to outline these um, little bunting. Yes, each blank will come with a video and like a little instructional sheet that tells you what colors to use and stuff like that. And they're your own videos. And they are all my videos. They are um, some of my best sellers and greatest hits, if you will. Okay. Oh, I want to add a little bit more around the top of the truck. What type of wood are they going to be? They are going to be at a quarter inch MDF. Okay, guys. Oh, I see a little detail left off. That's why it's important to have your picture nearby so you can kind of look at it and add a little bit more if you need to. Okay. Ta-da! Here's the finished truck. Look how cute. Uh, this would be super cute with a bow right up here. That's kind of why I put the word welcome further down on the window is to allow room for attaching a bow or something like that if you want to. If you want to get this truck template for free, go download it right now. It's linked right here in the um, video and um, you can paint one yourself. If you don't, if you're not comfortable cutting out your own wood piece, I'm going to say go download it anyway because you can trace it on a wooden round that you pick out at like Hobby Lobby or somewhere. You could trace it on a canvas if you want. Just use a piece of graphite paper to do your tracing and then just sit down to paint it. Paint it just, you could follow along my instructions. You could use your own colors if you want to. You wouldn't even have to do the polka dots if that seems intimidating. But I promise if you take it step by step, take your time, you'll do great. Um, and if you want to enter the giveaway that we're doing for the big box of blanks, this is a subscription that we're starting. Uh, you can sign up June the 1st and you will get three blanks every quarter complete with instruction sheet and video and a link to the video for how to paint them. If you're a beginner painter, you're scared to paint, this is a great way to get started because it's going to walk you through painting every single one and you don't have to choose what designs to paint next. You get a mystery box every quarter with designs that are already pre-selected by me that, are, that I know are best sellers. They are some of my greatest hits, if you will, um, and you're just going to have the best time painting these. So if you want to go enter to win a full year of the big box of blanks, go um, enter that in the video description as well. All right, did I forget anything? All right, any questions before I go? Stephanie says, I love watching you paint. Thank you for being here, Stephanie. If you wanna get the link, or if, if you wanna get the supply list with the colors that we used in this project, text LIST to my phone number. I've got it up in the video description as well. And um, we'll send that out to you. If you love this door hanger. Deb likes the bundle offer on the trucks. Oh, well, you're welcome, Deb. All right, y'all have a great afternoon. If you're watching on TikTok, I'll be putting this on YouTube in just a few minutes with all the links to everything so you can find them. Bye, y'all.